All right, time for a new show. Now I've heard nothing but good things about this, so I hope it lives up to my expectations because they're pretty high right now. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, and we are here starting a new show, Ranking of Kings. Very, very excited. Now, before we get into anything, the first thing I want to let you guys know is the first and last episode of every season of every show we watch on the channel. The full length version, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So click that top link in the description. Come back here for the review when you guys are done. And if you guys like that format and want to consider keeping that for the future, maybe check out that Patreon. It is a great time and has great benefits. So come on by and check it out but we are getting into ranking of kings this is episode one and two the first one is called the prince's new clothes now in terms of what i know about the show i don't know much of anything i do know it has something to do with kings and numbered princes i'm pretty sure but the biggest thing is boji is our main character and i know he's best boy and that is it i know he won the crunchyroll anime protagonist of the year or was it no it wasn't protagonist it was best boy it was a best boy specific category and he won it which means in terms of wholesomeness, wholeheartedness, good kindheartedness, he should be pretty up there. Because, I mean, he won over Draken, who Draken was my boy. So, I am very excited to hop into this and find out what happens. Alright, Ranking of Kings, Episodes 1 and 2. The first one is called The Prince's New Clothes. Let's do this. Alright. Oh, really? Of a nation's king? I thought it was going to be a singular nation and just ranking the prospects to be king. Was he a premature birth or why is he so small? So he gets picked on. But he... I, I'm so curious. I'm so curious what's going on. I mean, I respect this kid's... uh courage and his curiosity to explore his beautiful kingdom i love the art style very simple but very saturated but my man was running on top of that wall and just jumped down like it was nothing so he is very athletic is this the creature we see all throughout the opening the way he moves is like pride from full metal alchemist oh Imagine if a shadow holds you up and robs you. He's just embarrassed. He's deaf and mute. I mean, a lot of people who are deaf have issues speaking, especially during their development ages, you know. I mean, if he never... He can, okay. So he can read mouths. Wait. So he can't understand him? And he was down? And he's just sucking it into his body? What is this creature? Uh, that was... They were, that was such an interesting interaction. This little shadow is obviously taking advantage of this kid, but this child is more than happy to just be friendly and help anything out first prince prince boji he's stupid what's more he can't hear or talk he can't wield the chill he's a waste of a prince i mean that in and of itself sounds horrible to call someone a waste of skin a waste of anything but when this show and the premise they've given us so far is that you are ranked as a king, or he's a prince, so when he's soon to be king, based on your number of followers, how strong you are, like there's a number of variables that determine your ranking as a king, which is how, I guess, real life works, you know, like they don't really have like, oh, you have a C in this mark, an A in this mark, your overall ranking's a B, they just say, oh, he was a great leader, great king, shitty leader, shitty king, it's a little more, you know, cut, it's not as cut and dry as that, but... The fact that people are calling him a waste of skin, a waste of a prince, just because he doesn't have these certain qualities that are so, you know, it's, it's so interesting. I can tell he's going to be one of those characters who's strong in a different way, and I love that. Oh, did he come back with a whole bunch of clothes, just as thick as he could make it, so we can give him all the expensive clothes he can find? 
Yeah, he's a good kid. I mean, he probably has literally no one to talk to. That's so sad that he feels that way. <laughs> he's like, you really do get me. He's technically taking advantage of him, but it's a mutual agreement. I'll bring you clothes, you sit here and talk to me. It works out, Kage. Which means shadow, doesn't it? If I ever know my Japanese? I only know that because Naruto, Hokage, the shadow of the Lee village, the shadow of the San you know. So it's starting off all monetary for, for Kage, but I don't think it's gonna stay that way. I'm very curious. And I wonder who he's selling these clothes to. How does he make money? What does he spend the money on? What does he do? What's his origin story? So after a few days of them getting to know each other, we're getting some a little bit deeper into their story. You're going to be the greatest king. If we've ever heard any main character say that, we know it's going to be true. And I have full faith in them. Yeah, I know, it sucks. Yeah, that is true. He has been walking home in his boxers every day, thanks to Kage, you know. That's so sad. Man. <laughs> if you can't talk, then just say you can't talk. Are you f <laughs> Like some kids, man, come on. Even his own personal guard, or at least the royal guard, is talking about him like this. Horrible, you know? Second Prince Daida. Mother of Second Prince Daida. Big Four Swordsmaster Domas. Big Four Spear of the King. Eight. Oh, so these are like the Big Four. Oh, Rising of the Shield Hero. These are the four. Sword, Spear, Bow, and Shield, you know? No, he can do sign language. Oh, I didn't realize he was... Oh, that does make sense. I wrote it down, First Prince. But in terms of political power, the First Prince has the most claim to the throne, has the highest authority in terms of, you know, royal decrees and stuff like that. But So he's the First Prince, but the least likely to become king due to it. Wow. I didn't... That makes it even more crazy. This guy who's translating the swords seems... And one of the great swords seems pretty cool. So we're going to see the king. He has to... Aww. Poor Boji. Imagine not even really being able to vent your frustrations because you really can't talk to anyone. Oh, man. I can't even picture how frustrating it must be. Oh, yeah. He's got to keep a tough... Keep a brave face on, you know? What is this other creature in this... In this... The Shadow Clan, Big Four Snake, the Accursed Clan of Assassins, the Kage Clan. He's a child of the Kage Clan. Hmm, interesting. So, ranking of king, seventh place, King Bose. So, he's the seventh place king in all of the neighboring nations. I'm going to write down king. Uh, so, he's old in his age. He's a war crazy veteran. Look at all those scars on him. Oh, he is sick. So mom has already passed away as well. Look how small he is compared to his dad. Yeah, he's the one who's translating. He seemed cool. So Kage is trying to get out of there now. He's getting pursued by the Snake Master. In-house assassins for the Kingdom of Bo? Whoa, I didn't realize they had a crazy backstory like that. He really went for it. He really tried. And he's gone. So now... I don't know now if I can trust Kage or not. 
Oh, I recognize that voice actor immediately. Oh, this is Daida. Who is this voice actor? I recognize him so much. Is Daida nice like that? Okay, so he's nice, nice. But the thing is with Domas, is he, because he's his teacher and he's a prince, is he going to take it easy on him or is he... I guess I can... Okay, he's going to go for him, humble him a little bit. He's the spitting image of King Bolse. Is it Bolse or Boss? How do you guys pronounce that? But so far, I love the simple art style, but the animation is so fluid when it comes to fighting. Look at that. Even though Daida is very confident, he doesn't look like he's still any match for Domas. This guy is the best swordsman in, in the land. He seems one to get very angry at his weaknesses when he's not where he wants to be. Like he knows his potential. He knows where he could be. So the fact that he's not there yet makes him very angry. At least Domas feels him like he's hyping him up. Good. That's a good thing. Oh. Is Boji con confused on what's going on or... Does he want to prove his own worth so by taking on Daida? That's a thing that I can tell that is going to be... I don't know if it's going to be like an amazing genius idea or if it's going to be such a unique perspective from my point of view. Is just having a main character with a disability like that that doesn't really allow him to verbalize his emotions in the way in which a normal anime character could. So for them to like, go, I don't want to say go out of their way, but put in the extra work and detail into making him express himself via facial emotions, via frustration, you know, like his, because his, his audio is n nil, non-existent, his expressions have to be much more vibrant, much more showy. And, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of motivations and behind the scenes things that, because we're not in his mind, I still don't even know what he sounds like that we're not going to really understand. Like, I really don't know his reasoning for jumping out and fighting Dida right now, but I'm sure once I know it, it's going to make so much sense for his character and for Boji's development. It's just so interesting having a character in which I want to dive deep into, but I really can't. You know, like, I'm physically limited in what I can do. There was one time where Boji was going against, like, nine snakes... They all came and charged at him, and they're not going to show me what happened. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I'm butthurt. Ooh, that was a clean dodge. Yeah, why is he so fluid? Even things as quick and as agile as snakes can't touch this kid. He might not be the most offensive because he can barely swing it. Look, he hits you as hard as he can. You don't even feel it. But you're not going to be able to touch him. And he's hyped off that. Let's go, Boji. That's my boy. Let's go. I'm already, I can already tell him to love getting hyped for this kid. I can already tell you. That was the end of the first episode already. God damn it. I'm so glad I'm watching more. All right. Here we go. Episode two. The Prince and Kage. Is, is this Kage's backstory? You can tell he's a little tight. He's over here with his shadow toy. And this is probably after they tried to assassinate the king and then ordered the execution of all shadow members. And this was a different kingdom, right? If I remember the sword, the snake master saying that. No, mommy's going to die, sadly, but... It's, it's interesting watching shadows hug each other and I need to know they're like I need to go there I need to know their anatomy <laughs> like how do these shadows survive wow she wasn't lying when she said he was a part of the light clan there's a light and the shadow clan oh my god I thought those were just scarfs like hanging banners on their spears but no those are her dead Kage members dead shadow members Kage is his name I shouldn't say that Damn. R.I.P. Mamakage. That is sad. I wonder if she kept it alive. She kept, yep. She kept Kage alive inside her stuffed animal. 
Yeah. He's gonna see his mom's dead body. Oh, she's crying to cover it up. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if he's a little more suspicious than just off that, or if he's just like, thinks she's creepy like the other person thought she was creepy. But shouts out to her for covering for Kage. I'm curious about that. So it's the King Bo. This is a different kingdom. Yeah, because Bo and Balsa are a completely different king. So shouts out both of them going out of their way to help a child. So I definitely wanted a Kage backstory, but I did not think I'd be getting it this early. He reminds me so much of Pride, but before that, the Dwarf and the Flask and FMAB. Just the way he's designed. I just want to hear him be like, Hohenheim! So he's hungry on the streets, technically a homeless shadow. Can't find anything to eat, but like I was saying, I need to know his anatomy. That is a cool toy. And it's the last thing he has of his mother. Oh, he's got to get rid of That's sad that he's even... He has to do what he has to do. He's willing to get rid of that for, for survival. His mom would be cool with that too. But it's just like... The thing that has the most value in the world to him isn't even worth an apple. And he still... Oh. Still left it and tried to steal. You got to do what you got to do. Oh. Someone fed him some scraps. I like the fact that he fed him scraps, but I don't like the, this guy's face. This guy looks creepy as shit. Makes him wash his dishes. Makes him like his little house slave. So now he's using Kage to steal things. Shadow Clan would be very good at that. But now that you have all this money, you're going to start paying us for giving us good food, right? He's just happy to get some attention and feel loved. Whether it be from a douchebag like this guy. If stealing is what gets me love and affection that I've been missing out forever, then hey, I'll do whatever needs to be done. I mean, that's what Kage's feeling right now. And don't tell me he's going to try to hold his hand while he's sleeping. He really wants love, man. Oh, that's sad. So he's drunk, lost some money. He's going to see that there's a reward for Kage. So he's going to turn him in. This guy is such a douche, I swear. But yeah, he got turned in. Is Kage gonna come back and kill this dude? Knife through the neck? Did he just come back out of... <laughs> out of having nowhere else to go? Being scared? Aww, I thought he came back for vengeance. He's, he's too wholesome for even that. And there you go. Picked a wrong fight. He got stabbed at a bar. And all he can think about is the good times they had together. So even though that guy was a douchebag, that was like a double hit for Kage. He lost his mom and seemingly his dad. You know, even though his dad was an asshole, but... To, to Kage, it still hurt like hell. Is this money from a different kingdom so it won't work? Or it actually works this time? Good. That's so fucked up. What the hell? I mean, no wonder he'd get no wonder he'd get disillusioned with society and how things are supposed to be. This is a horrible life he lived. Yeah, you can tell. You see, his eye got happy to more angry to bitter to just the thieving shadow we know and love today, you know? Talk about full circle. So, now knowing what we know, Kage is a good shadow. That was a great backstory, I won't lie. To cut right back here, to where we are now. Hell yeah, Boji. Hell yeah, Boji. See, that's the thing about swords, is even though it's better how the stronger we are, we don't need to be super strong. The fact that we're hitting your, your arteries, you know, your... Your vital spots, just... Oh, that's actually hella good. He's that much more attuned to reading people's movements because of how used to he is reading people's lips, you know? I love that little detail. 
Yeah, it's kind of a lost loss scenario. You lose or you win and people think you're fighting like a bitch. Now, can you guys tell me, is the sign language in this authentic? I need to learn sign language. What did he say? What did he say? No more dodging, no more doing the fighting style he's been. Just try to go straight, straight at him, you know? Yeah, no more dodging. Yeah. That's his only... He has no strength when it comes to that, you know? That's his, that's his benefit. So, you're just gonna let Dida just whoop his ass now. Ooh, so many painful memories are coming through Kage's head right now. And he knows how good of a boy Boji is. He knows he doesn't deserve any of this. And it looks like the spear guy is the one who threw that. He was so fast with it. Okay, so I think... I think Kage was about to run out there for Boji because, you know, but he didn't. He got scared from that spear throw, obviously. Anyone would be scared from that spear throw. But why did Apius throw the spear? Was he was, was he upset at what Domas did? Ooh, Who is this? What the hell? Just as you said I would be? Everything's going according to predictions? What the hell? It's a struggle. What are we gonna do about this? Really? I was liking Domas, but... I am curious his motivations. I get what... Aw, poor Boji. I get what they're saying. How it's not the swordsmanship of a king. How you need to be honorable. Honorable face your man head up, you know. But it's like... How does no one feel bad for this kid? The only one that feels bad for this kid is a literal shadow assassin. Like, he is not strong enough to handle a child's short sword. He literally does not have the strength to... That's so sad. Imagine... Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm trying with all your might. Uh, like, I know feeling powerless leaves a lot of people so much anger. Oh, I can't even... I don't know. I can't even talk right now. Shout out, Kage. Hells yeah. <laughs> you wanted to give him something. That's cute. These guys gotta look out for each other. It's a rough world out here, you know? Now seeing Kage's backstory, I want these two to be like best of friends, you know? And to only live happy lives ever. Woo! I just got done blowing my nose again. <laughs> I was on the verge of tears right there. I can already tell you, I can see how Boji <laughs> won best boy. I can already tell you that. But, I will say, I'm pleasantly surprised with how much I like Kage so much. His story was very tragic, very sad, but just the fact that these two people who the world has just shat on repeatedly and just fucking fucked with over and over again and just not giving them the time of day how they need to stick in each other's corners like kage was saying and look out for one another and just do what they can because they know how bullshit it is and and one thing i love about i don't want to say medieval even though it does fit that that time period one thing i love about and I don't want to say ancient either, but monarchs, I will say, just for now, is is I love the duality and the dichotomy of political morality and hum human morality, if that makes sense. Like, from a political standpoint, Boji, I, I do agree with them. From a king's perspective, from the people's perspective, from a warrior's perspective, Boji is one of the worst choices you can have. I get it. Physically, he's at a disadvantage to just about anyone. But... There are different kind of strengths, you know, and and for people who are going to be morally gray in this show, because I can tell that it's going to happen immensely, like Domas, for example, like you can tell there's the right thing to do and then there's the politically smart thing to do. And that's one of the reasons I love Game of Thrones is that 
what seems like every character in Game of Thrones cares about their lineage, their legacy, their money, their power, and all this, that, and the other. Whereas there are certain characters that care about their family, they care about their their honor, they care about their word as a man. You know, like there are certain things in which you can really like. It's it's. I don't know. I guess what I love about this time period is like. There's no worried about fucking Twitter. You're not worried about Snapchat playing video games. You're just worrying about being the best you can be, doing the most you can do, and living life to the fullest, you know? Like, it's simpler times, but also a lot more deeper because you have the whole political... It's just, I don't know. I'm just really loving the show because I can tell. Like, I really like Domas off Rip, but I can tell with what his decisions at the end and what Kage said that it's going to be like Mushoku Tensei, where there's going to be a lot of morally great characters. I'm going to like characters i'm gonna not like the decisions they make i'm gonna not like decisions characters but i'm gonna you know what i'm saying like and i love shows that aren't afraid to to do that with you you know like kage amazing story boji amazing story dida i'm gonna look up the voice actor of dida right now okay guys don't roast me but i didn't re recognize my favorite voice actor it's yuki kaji apparently Aaron todoroki everyone but that just shocks me um Aaron todoroki my favorite voice actor is daida who i'm gonna like him but i'm also not gonna like him he has a great swordsman but i can already tell you boji's gonna be my favorite but like i said fantastic story i'm very eager to watch the rest i can already tell you i'm gonna be super emotionally invested shout out to everyone that's watching this if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys enjoyed that free full length, make sure to check out that Patreon for all that again. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.